1936 is truly a year which could have gone any way really because of the situation in Europe with the Nazis taking power a few years prior, the Western powers being a little bit more weakened, and by Western powers I'm talking about the uh, French and the English to a certain extent. But today we're focusing on what's left of the Ottoman Empire, the Turkish Republic. We will be taking over and we will be of course restoring the Ottoman Empire to its a full glory. It's not going to be an easy feat, especially since Turkey is one of the weaker nations at the start of this particular campaign, but we'll make it work. We shall begin by starting with the Montreal Convention National Focus. This is going to eventually lead us down this particular path. We want to get all the way to the return of the Sultan National Focus, so it's going to take a little bit of time, but eventually we'll get there. And there are some achievements as well, which we'll be getting in this particular run. Namely, I captured the Bosphorus and all I got uh, was was I don't know what it was because I cannot see the rest of that name and I think there's another one just by restoring the Ottoman Empire we get nobody's business with the Turks so we got those two going we might get some more if we do a second part for this if say we get 4,000 likes on this video in the first few days after it's out so I know that you guys actually want to see said second part we don't have much of an industry unfortunately so we're just gonna focus all of our military factories on infantry equipment for now and we're just gonna set up one convoy from our naval factories research slots of course is going to be fairly standard we're going to get our mechanical engineering so we get the faster research done base uh, machine tools and construction one i don't expect too much fighting unless we're just going to fight the kurds and the civil war because we will have both a civil war and likely a war with the kurds in this campaign and then after we restore the ottoman empire we can attack the Greeks, the Bulgarians, and so on. We might actually do a little bit of a war before we restore the Ottoman Empire, just so we take advantage of less world tensions, because by the time we restore the Ottoman Empire, it's likely that uh, the world tension is going to be at 40-50% because of what everybody else around us has been doing. But before we get to that, of course, we still need to um, strengthen our country a little bit. Let's uh, build a few civilian factories over in uh, Istanbul. We don't really have much of an Air Force. <laughs> Uh, we got some fighters over here. I think I'm just going to disband this air wing. I'm just going to keep the 45 over here and uh, let's start playing this game, I guess. I'm also going to change our one tank division to a regular PID Turk mini or whatever this is called. Since uh, I'm not going to really have any tanks, at least in the first bit of this campaign. I cannot afford any of those. And I'm going to change these bad boys over here the same to the uh, Tuyadi P mini. Regular infantry, essentially. Assign our best general which I believe is gonna be this boy over here however he is a Kemalist and I don't know what to tell you about that we might not need Kemalists I'm gonna go with this guy because he is not a Kemalist you know we're planning to obviously kick out Mr. Kemal Ataturk the founder of the Turkish Republic and one of the greatest uh, figures in Turkish history he is after all called the father of Turks right Ataturk since the release of the Battle for Bosphorus DLC a lot of things have actually changed it's a lot harder now to go down the Ottoman path as the Turks. It's not as easy as it used to be. And even basic stuff like uh, counteracting the rebels in uh, the Kurdish areas costs command points now, which is a little bit tougher. And it seems like Germany's got a little bit of a civil war that does not look good. Okay. I didn't turn historical AI on. I probably should have now that I think about it. Oh, this is bad. This is actually bad. Oh, war with the Soviet Union. Come at me, bro. Come at me. <laughs> They back down? Hell yeah. And I got 120 political power and 15 stability from that. What? Hell yeah. <laughs> Okay, that is pretty, pretty freaking good, you boys. All right, in that case, let's uh, also set up our line over here with the Greeks. And let's go with fully integrate the Ish Bank. We also have some uh, political power that we can use now, so that's pretty Gucci. I really want to get the Captain of Industry. Obviously, I'm going to get the Silent Warhorse also, and uh, probably the Financial Expert, because he gives minus 5% consumer goods. So these are going to be the uh, holy trinity of our uh, advisors, political advisors, right? Really important thing to note is is that uh, Turkey produces a huge amount of uh, chromium and steel. So as you progress in the campaign, it is likely that a lot of other countries will trade for your chromium and you're going to get some civilian factories from that. But at the early bit of the campaign, that's likely not going to happen. Right now, nobody is buying our freaking chromium. We got people buying, though, our steel. So we got that going for us, right? Time to get mechanical computing done, too. We're going to get our fourth uh, research slot fairly early on. We just need to do 
utilize foreign capital and this is gonna unlock the fourth research slot so this is what one two three three more four more actually national focuses away and these are 35 days by the way here both of them so it's technically three if we put it into 70 days uh focus days focus days i made more sense in my mind don't think about it too much oh we can get refuge to italian scientists for just five stability we get five percent research speed which is a big freaking deal look at that we went up by 18% research speed already in the first few months of the campaign. I'm gonna also create my uh, agency since it's gonna come in massive handy as we go along in this campaign. I'm gonna call this the Autos Men. <laughs> Get it? Because we're gonna be the Auto Men. So the the autos men i'm funny damn it i'm funny okay and we already ratified the six huddles let's go ahead down this path a little bit more i'm gonna go for the improved mechanical tools and we're gonna go also and get the sana this is gonna be really good actually because it's gonna allow us to in exchange for some political power get factories in our country established you'll see what i'm talking once we get these particular decisions done after this national focus is uh completed we also have a few decisions because of the uh, law 3115 here. These decisions offer different bonuses, so it really is a matter of what exactly you want to go for. Personally, I do want some more war support because my because uh, my command power generation is freaking lacking because of my low war support. So I'm going to go for nationalism to get that weekly war support a little bit now. Whilst we're doing that, continue to go down the uh, focus tree there. And we also now have unlocked the industrial project, so check it out. For example, if we open this Nazili Calico factory, it's gonna take 180 days. Once this is done, we get one civilian factory built in the particular province of Izmir. It is gonna cost 15% political power reduction, so keep that in mind. But this is pretty much negated by our political advisor, which offers already plus 15% political power. So, yeah, it's not as bad as it seems, in my opinion. You know what? Might as well just start with the one in Izmir. Why not? We're gonna essentially build all of those factories whenever we have the uh, political power and we finish the 180 days for whichever decision we clicked on. It's a good idea not to forget to click on those because that's just basically free factories right there. I think Essen would be the best choice since she has counterintelligence and a few other bonuses that we might uh, might make use of, right? It's also assigned her over to root out resistance in our Kurdish bits. Finally, we're getting our new research slot, boys. Let's go. And let's also counter the rebels in Erzurum. I've I've got the command point so um hopefully that's gonna be success it is successful we've successfully countered the ones in tuncelli not erzurum i guess is it tuncelli thought it was erzurum whatever the case we now have a 45 percent compliance compared to the 29 in the other bits or 16 or 15 so that was great success really plus we got the extra political power from it too i'm also gonna switch over to early mobilization should help out our cause a little bit now we got 14 factories almost 15 once this one's done so we're gonna build up in uh, bursa and we're also gonna get two more civilian factories in bursa after said uh, infrastructure is finished of course pretty much a staple of the fact that most of your initial researches are gonna revolve around your industry that's exactly what we're doing now we're gonna go and uh, gun for excavation two and three so we can start exploiting our provinces more so as you can see here we can get 23 more steel from ismit a lot more chromium from all of these provinces and even 12 more steel from Ankara, but we do need to have construction 3 and construction 2 for most of these uh, decisions. Now that we got the research slot though, I'm also going to quickly do lessons of the Great Wars so we unlock reforming our armed forces decisions. We really want to strengthen our army a little bit. We have the disorganized armed forces modifier, which is pretty much making us not the greatest army around this area. So we, uh, we need to make it the best if we're going to restore the Ottoman Empire, don't we? Or at least if not best, a little bit better let's say we got another 15 command power so let's go ahead and improve the situation in van i'm trying to go for these particular areas because these areas there you go we, we managed to get it these areas are the highest population areas right so we're getting more benefits from more populations essentially let's also discuss investment possibilities with the german empire now the higher the relations the higher the likelihood of them actually investing in us so let's also improve relations with 
with them. We got 26 right now. Hopefully we get that up to a little bit more by the time that that decision comes around. So they do decide to invest in our country. We're going to do the second focus for the army too. So we can modernize our troops. And this unlocked this entire area for our armed forces. Now modernizing our tactics required that we do the focus that we're doing right now. It's going to modify this organized armed forces by giving us plus eight division organization. And as we just get all of these, it's going to change this organized armed forces into not sucking as much as it sucks, you know? Hey, the German Empire did decide to invest in our military industry. So we got a 50% chance of getting a one military, two or three military factories. Okay. Fingers crossed is three. Fingers crossed is three. How many is it? Oh my God. Holy shit. It actually was three factories, bro. Oh my Lord. That is luck intensive freaking fight, boys. Intensive freaking fight. Can we get more stuff from other countries though? Let's see what our relations are. These guys hate us. These guys hate us. These guys hate us. How about the Americans? Why the hell do the Americans hate us, man? All right, I'm going to improve relations with them. I'm definitely going to improve relations and I'm going to click the decision after a little bit. I'm not going to click it just yet because I feel like if I click it now, they're not going to give me anything, right? Since they still do hate us, right? We'll wait for a while. Meanwhile, the Germans absolutely love us. I'm going to stop improving relations with them though. Let's go ahead and modernize our tacticus. So let's check this out now. This organized armed forces is not as bad because we removed the organization debuff that we had, which was, in my opinion, the worst one, really. Since, you know, organization is uh, essentially how long your units are going to be in the fight for. And that's really one of the most important things. Oh, nine. Spain is basically divided into four now. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's going to be interesting to see. That's going to be very interesting to see. What's going on with the Germans, though? I wish I knew what focus they're doing right now. They've still got Mr. August von uh, Mackensen, but he's really just temporary. They're going to switch to somebody else soon enough, I guess. They might go down the uh, democratic path. You never know, right? Which would be optimal for me because, you know, we're also a democracy of ourselves, clearly. Okay, looks like we've got an opposition movement that just formed. Democratic Party is now going to be called the Gelenexlel Group and the leader of it is going to be Adnan Menderes, who's got some pretty decent modifiers, actually, if he gets uh, to rule our country. Now, the problem is that we got rising Islamist dissidents, which is going to lower our stability by 2% every week. That's pretty bad. That's actually really, really bad. So, um, yeah, we're going to have to handle that, boys. It is going to last until the 4th of October. So, uh, good luck to us, I guess. It is not going to be easy to deal with it. I I'm going to try and improve worker conditions to improve my weekly, sorry, to improve my weekly stability. But yeah, let's, let's see. Unlocks the Faithing Father decision. All right, let's check out the Faithing Father decision here. We can ask Mr. Atatürk to retire and that in exchange is going to get the event choosing Atatürk successor and we can add him as a modifier. Okay, I'm going to retire him because in order to become the Ottoman Empire, we kind of have to choose this path, let's face it. And we get Mr. Chelar Bayar for the time being. We still have the uh, Islamist and we did get Atatürk as this particular modifier so we can still make use of his bonuses. Looks like the second Russian civil war is upon us, but we uh, managed to get a non-aggression pact with the Iran and with Afghanistan and with Iraq because we did the Treaty of Sadabad. Now we can do assess our future, add the legacy of Atatürk, which is going to give even more stability and so on. We need that because we're down to 45% stability, which is really not looking good right now. But hey, on the bright side, we got 31 war support, right? Speaking of, um, let's actually use our command power to um, make these uh, provinces even more compliant. We seem to also have gotten rid of the rising Islamic dissidents because we've gotten the Democrat Party in charge. We got 5% stability too, and we're definitely on the right track here. Most of the negative modifiers are behind us right now, at least for the time being, really. We're playing as the Turks here. We're definitely going to have a bad luck, uh, politically at least, uh, a little bit of bad luck. And it's time for the first multi-party election. We can choose the Democrats or the Republicans. We pretty much have to choose the Democrats if we want to go down the Ottoman path. So, unfortunately for the Republicans, it's a big no no we're gonna go full-on democraticus which i'm pretty sure is a is a turkish word right boys maybe not probably not though now this is going to make the uh, republicans a little bit pissed once we finish off miletni adam but afterwards we can do permit regional elections which is going to allow us to reintegrate the kurdish states remember that the kurdish states are occupied territory they're not core territories for the time being okay now that we've uh, gotten the kemalists all over the place it's time to remove them so we get 
rid of those horrible modifiers that they offer. And we've also gotten the ability to develop more chromium deposits here and here. Guess we could do one of them. Ah, hell, we can do both of them. Why not? Let's get more compliance and let's keep on going down our mission. Or better yet, the uh, focus tree. Permit the regional elections. It's time for permission, boys. I'm also going to recruit four more divisions. I want to recruit more, but I don't have the equipment and I do not have the manpower for it. So it's it's it wouldn't make much sense for me to waste what little manpower I've got right now since I need some to reinforce my uh, divisions once the war start, right? Oh, what the hell? Republic of Georgia broke free? Oh! I don't think they're gonna stand a chance though. Little old Stalin here is absolutely crushing the provisional government and whatever else is breaking away like uh, the Republic of Karakakpalakstan. Kara totally nailed the way that is pronounced by the way, totally. Oh, looks like the Georgians are on the side of the provisional government. Yo, okay, interesting. And as I just said, Karabakpalakstan is gone. Okay, is that time again? Let's see how many factions we get. I'm gonna have to sacrifice a few goats to uh, Shmagdabu. I'll be right back and now I'm back please give me three please give me three please give me did I just get none did I actually get none I got I got zero factories didn't I I got actually zero factories that was a waste of a goat wasn't it we're also doing the Hatay issue which is going to ask the French to give back the province of Hatay which is actually 200,000 population and it is a core province of ours core state so I really hope that they do give it back looks like we can also get another 5% research speed from a German scientist bringing us up to 27 7% research speed bonuses. Sacre bleu, the French have given us hate. All right, that's awesome because that's a core state, so that increases our manpower a little bit. And do they have anything here? Nope, not a single freaking factory. Good Jesus Christ, people. Why don't you just build stuff in the stuff you're giving me beforehand, huh? How about that? We can get Kemalist neutrality here, which is going to give peace in the world. Okay, well, I'm, I'm down for some peace in the world. Finally, we can also get partial mobilization, which is uh, definitely going to help with our military factory factory constructions. Right now we're only doing civilians factories still. We want to max out the ones that we have over in uh, Izmir and Istanbul since both of these have a hundred percent bonus from having a hundred percent infrastructure right now. And then afterwards we can actually start building some more military factories. Truth be told, we are not the greatest when it comes to industrial output, but it's not about your industrial output. It's about the friends you make along the way. Like, you know, all of the Balkans, which are our bestest friends, right? The way that we're going to make these full cores and integrate them is uh, we need to have 70% compliance and then we just click integrate whatever province and that's going to make it a core and we don't need to deal with the rebellions anymore. I'm honestly surprised that rebellions haven't actually triggered. I was expecting it to be a little bit harder when it comes to the Kurds, but hey, I'm positively and pleasantly surprised that it didn't that it wasn't as hard as I expected it to though. That being said, it's pretty hard to get to 70 compliance. I've had like 9 fails out of all the uh, compliance checks that I've had with the rebels here so it's not that easy also right all right boys time to purge the officers this is going to give us the turkish civil war and that's going to be painful but it has to be done really wait what germany did go democratic oh god <laughs> i haven't seen a democratic germany in a really long time to be fair and i'm i'm happy to see it i guess on the one hand also kind of shocked but still happy i guess really means there's going to be less tensions in the world now unfortunately Holy snaps, I just took a glance at the Soviets. I thought that they finished their war, but apparently they've got even more and more republics popping out here. Okay, maybe the Soviets are not gonna win against the whites. Uh, very, very interesting turn of events. That is a faux sure. Pretty much all of the stands have broken away right now. And I'm gonna follow this up. I'm gonna really follow this up because it looks really interesting to see what's going on. It might actually be of help if uh, Armenia and Azerbaijan become independent dependent of help to me at least, you know. We also managed to get our very first uh, plane design here, but unfortunately I don't have the air experience to actually build this, so <laughs> I need to get my focus done for the air. I haven't done a single focus over in the air part of uh, my national focus, so I gotta do Hava Okulu whenever I can, probably when the civil war starts. One day boys and the war is here! Alright, the Givan Jihadist Republic declared war on Soviet Union. No, that's not ours. We got, we got our own situation here. <laughs> so let's go boys! 
let's a glug 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 glow. Okay, okay. Everything is fine. Not to worry. You guys are gonna come here in this army and we're gonna set up a defensive line right over there. But we're also gonna keep a few of you boys and we're gonna push into Istanbul. Set this guy over here as well. And the rest of the army, you're gonna be um, tasked with taking care of these rebellions here. I'm actually thinking that probably it's better to focus more troops into the west since Istanbul is likely where they have the majority of their troops. So I'm actually going to do that. Um, send more units over here. Two more. Let's go. And you can come over here as well. I really hope we win this quickly before um, too many losses are incurred. Hold up a second. I just realized I lost Izmir and Istanbul. The Basically the two states in which I was building most of my stuff. That is not good. <laughs> that is actually not good. And I lost the progress. I was literally about to finish building one of my civilian factories on in uh, Istanbul. Oh, that sucks PP. Not gonna lie. Let's uh, go ahead and uh, get the Hana Okublublu, as I was saying earlier. Ottoman officers offer the chance to restore the Sultanate. Our old glory awaits reclamation uh, for sure, because that's what we want. We want the uh, we want the Ottoman Sultanate to come back. Let's go ahead and uh, assign Mr. Mehmet Esat Pasha as our leader in charge of this army. And this one, I think we're gonna change over to Mr. Fakri Pasha, which is pretty freaking decent overall. No, you cannot take stuff. Get out of here. Don't you even try and take stuff from me, boy. We gotta get rid of these guys fast so we can focus the rest of this main army over on the other side. And I don't know what investment we got there or if we got it, but I'm too busy with this war to even worry about investments right now. We're pushing pretty easily into here, so let's keep on pushing. If we get Istanbul and march over to release the Adirn area, we should have quite a little bit of an economy to help us out here. So let's uh, do this as well i'm not sure if there's just one unit that they have there or more but i really hope it's just one unit so let's go attack yes boys attack yes time let's go 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 rush b rush b as they say in turkish uh military terms really these scumbag rebels have nothing on us they got nothing at all on us oh ukraine just broke away from the russians holy shnabos holy freaking shnabos all right we pretty much won the war that was actually super fast in my trial run before i had a little bit of a hard time with the civil war not gonna lie i'm happy to see that i had an easier time um in this run at least and i know the war is not over but it's gonna be over in a few moments because we're taking all of their um their points here they got no more points left there you go we annex them hell yeah boys turkey is once more at piss it's a very much at the piss Let's max out this here infrastructure and then after we're gonna build up more of these there there and even there let's also see if we can get some more compliance in these lands and of course we got this because we're Chad Lord Ottoman boys. I mean, technically, we're the provisional state of Anatolia now, so we're not yet the Ottoman Empire, but it's coming. It's coming. We're just how many national focuses away from that? One, two, three, four. Four focuses away from becoming the Otto Bros. Hey, these guys were awarded a medal from marching into Gumushani, liberating our people from Turkish. Wait, what? From Turkish? Aren't we the Turks? Uh, okay. I mean, sure. We're gonna build more units, don't worry boys. We're gonna build a lot more troops. We're gonna recruit, I mean not build. We're gonna recruit say 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 12. 12 divisions and we're gonna use these in the Greek front. Actually, we don't have any manpower left. Maybe not 12, maybe this many, nine. Wait, who is Dino Grandi? And why is Italy a fascist nation a part of the allies? Okay, seriously, what the actual F is happening here, dude? Germany's democratic, the allies are democratic, the French are communists and the Italian fascists fascists are a part of the allies what what about the americans americans are democrats okay and they got mr alf london totally a historical president of the u.s clearly <laughs> now the weird thing is the fact that the soviets have been reduced to basically just previous muscovy lands from e4 we're gonna be doing pivot to the past so we can uh switch on over and um get our ottomans in charge and we're gonna get our very first planes done we're gonna kill these boys the turk mabols the turk mabol planes they're very famous planes shut up don't even think about it okay i'm actually gonna change this though i don't like the icon let's change to a really cool plane like um this here this is totally what these planes look like okay if anybody asks twerk my bowls look exactly like this you got a problem with that take it up with the twerk my bowl office of domestic affairs okay and communist china joined the allies too okay this is officially the most cursed freaking timeline ever guess what the soviets also joined the allies <laughs> 
Oh god, this is just... I don't even know what to say anymore, really. <laughs> On the bright side, we managed to get infantry equipment too, which is gonna come in handy, and we're gonna prioritize these uh, brand new, better equipments for our Ottoman infantry, which, as it stands, is our best infantry unit. They're not amazing, but they're better than nothing, I guess. We're gonna add some artillery to this uh, unit too. It's got a little bit more of a soft attack and oomph in future battles against uh, those uh, dirty Greeks that took our lands. The moment is here, boys. Return of the soul ton in just 70 days we're gonna be going back to the good old days where uh, everybody was happier clearly that's uh, that's why um, that's why we're going back to that time explain to me how China joined the Allies and the commie Chinese are also on the Allies what <laughs> hey we are the Ottoman Empire and we got the achievement too which is somewhere here where's the achievement is it at the end where's the achievement show me the achievement god damn it Oh, there you go. Nobody's business but the Turks. Restore the Ottoman Sultanate has been completed. And now we're gonna continue going down this path because we shall be attacking our former Ottoman provinces so we can reintegrate them into the empire. Czechoslovakia entered the Central European Alliance, which they made with other Central European countries. That actually makes sense. Germany, Austria, the Czechs. Instead of joining in a greater Germany, they joined in a greater Europe. European Union in a way, right? Is this the start of the European Union? That's funny. That's actually funny to see how eventually, even though the Germans didn't conquer these two countries, they still kind of own them, don't they? Economically, at least. Wait, what? Did Germany just merge with the Austrians? And these are core states as well? Okay, okay, I see what's going on. Holy mother, I just saw a massive expansion of uh, Central European Alliance. God dang, that's big. Now they got Norway to Denmark as well. What? We got a second achievement as non-aligned Turkey have zero negative state modifiers. Okay, I mean, I'll take it. Two achievements in one run? Sounds like a good run, doesn't it? We're also going to alter the royal laws of succession. Now, what this does is, um... It gives us a little bit more say when it comes to our successions. Let's keep on countering the rebels in Van. We need 200 uh, political power and then we can integrate the province of Hakari. But aside from Hakari, the other provinces have not been as loyal as I would have liked them to be. There you go. Van, for example, keeps on being disloyal again and again. And it's pretty much pissing me off at this point, really. With the Austro-Hungarian claims, we now basically have the ability to attack pretty much anybody in the Balkans. And we're going to focus on that. Also, take note, we've got a lot of uh, reform the Ottoman Empire decisions that we can do, such as reform the Eyalet of Romelia, of uh, Greece, or whatever this is called, and this is going to give us cores. We essentially can get cores on all of the Balkans, all of North Africa here, and the Middle Eastern parts, so our population is going to skyrocket as consequence. Let's see if we can align the Bulgarians without having to go to war with them. There's a chance that they're going to accept and become our uh, puppet. That would be pretty cool. The time for the Great War War against the uh, Greek scum, I mean Greek menace really, it's here. Let's go ahead and give the order to advance and let's also push into the islands here because I know, well, the Greeks are actually pushing in. Never mind, let's wait for them to finish pushing and then we're gonna push and take them out of these islands. Rightful Ottoman clay, clearly rightful Ottoman clay. How dare they even think that they can take our beloved uh, land? Okay, let's see how it's going here. Uh, we've got 200 planes, they got 69. How is this not full complete control right now? It's on me bro like actually oh bulgaria kneels before our power and they become a puppet of us hell yeah bulgaria come on boys join in and have some fun in greece as well please okay just just have some fun here okay we got to get this done since this is going to give us manpower weekly and it unlocks the reform the ottoman empire decision so we're not going to be a sultanate we're going to be an empire boys with the big capital H, by the way, just saying. We're also changing to war economy to help us out with this war and future wars. And with Bulgaria participating in this, um, makes things a little bit easier, doesn't it? Yes, it freaking does. Yes, it freaking does. All right, delete that front since we don't need that one anymore. Wait, what? The Imro is back. <laughs> Persecute Imro, destroy him. Oh my god. What have you done, Bulgaria? Oh boy. Looks like we, uh, we gotta do some things to get back control over uh, Trace afterwards. Oh man, I'm not a fan of rebels, I swear. This, this 
playthrough is just half of the playthrough is rebel fighting really now we're talking boys look at how delicious we look a beautiful green map color and name change we're basically playing eo4 ottomans right now aren't we boys and uh, let's continue down here we're gonna go with the expand the sabadabadaboob pact and invite some nations to our pact see if it works or not the main defensive lines of greece have fallen too so we're now essentially just uh, running towards getting the command points or victory points so we can just win this war quick not much of a defense against us anymore at least not yet all right that's it for the Greeks let's take all of their provinces wait what hold up a second what <laughs> Bulgaria you suck I'm just gonna call out it I'm just gonna call it out how it is Bulgaria you actually suck they took two provinces I really wanted to get bro like actually wanted to get all right well unfortunately it did go to the Bulgarians Ugh, I hate them so much right now I, I literally hate them so much right now hey Bulgaria you suck worst freaking vassal ever I'm gonna create a faction with you though. This is gonna be called the Auto Brothos Brothers. The Auto Broskis, bro. Bro, bro, bro. There you go. The Dawn of the Auto Brothers. Hell yeah. The best alliance of nations ever, by the way, in case you were wondering. And look at how many Violets we can restore and Aolets we can restore. We just need the provinces and then we get cores on all of these juicy lands here. And speaking of juicy lands, I um, feel like it's time we uh, expand a little bit more. Hey, Iran just joined the Auto Bros. Iraq to end Afghanistan. Hell yeah, boys. Hell yeah. Look at that. We've just expanded our hold. We've we've included half of the Islamic world in our greater alliance. We can get one more research slot up next to hell yeah, I'm going for that. Germany at war again. Oh, those darn Germans and their alliance of everybody in Central Europe. They're now at war with the Allies. Wow, okay. And the Japanese joined the Central European Alliance. Hold on a second here. And the Russians. What the hell is going on, bro? <laughs> This is the weirdest run ever, man. I swear, bro. Like, and look at us chilling here. The 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 auto broskies waiting for the rest of the world to defeat each other so we can swoop in. Meanwhile, there's me sending lend leases over to Bulgaria so uh, I can actually integrate them. Belgium seems to be carrying the torch in this war for the uh, Central European Alliance, and they're absolutely crushing the French right now. I think it's also time for us to attack Yugoslavia. I'm guessing they might join some faction. I hope they don't but let's see set up our war plans too and wait a little bit because we actually forgot to set the war plans up beforehand we gotta wait for them to plan those bad boys out bring our air force as well to help out in this particular war and uh, let's get ready we're getting lend lease from the british raj okay i don't mind i actually don't mind request to join war from everybody here hell yeah boys let's go let's all together as bestest of friends attack and destroy the vile yugoslavians the real menace to the world looks like the french did not give us the provinces we wanted from uh, the damascus area but that's to be expected though slowly but surely we're pushing into the yugoslavian lands recovering what was once ours and getting a ton of army experience in the process as well so that's pretty good because we've we've already managed to get quite a little bit down on our uh, land doctrine with the balkans under our control and the ottoman empire properly restored i think it's time for you to watch my germany run right over here and I want to give a massive thank you to all of my patrons, channel members, and Twitch subscribers. I would not be able to do this without all your support. 